Guys, welcome to Ben Gazi TV, and it's not been the best of times, clearly, for all of us sports journalists, I mean, sports fans in Ghana, football fans, enthusiasts in Ghana, because clearly, after yesterday, the Black Stars have brought sadness, pain to all of us with their exit. Exit, I mean, forget about the mathematics people are, you know, making around. Ghana are out, Ghana is out of their ongoing Afcon. The Black Stars are out. We can't kid ourselves, we are out now. This means one thing clearly. There's been a lot of reactions to our exit on social media, on mainstream media, from all over the place, from politicians, the ordinary Ghanaian out there, drivers, market men, women, whoever, reacting to Ghana's exit from the Nations Cup. But today I'm here because I have been pondering over something that I think is very close to my heart. And it should be close to your heart as well because it's about our national team and uh, moving forward to yeah then yeah yeah then yeah i mean the stars are out the team is out and so we can't do much about the happiness now around the afghan however all we can do and do something on is what happens in the future with our black stars in the future the black stars we have to we have to move on so going to the future what should be the way out for the black stars team what is the way out for our black stars and for me from what we've seen a few things are clear. Chris Hilton, first of all, I'm told, and I think it's this case, his contract will end by the end of January or February, thereabout. When it's done, you should pack a bag and baggage and leave Ghana. If he wants to stay, that's for his job, for, his, for himself, not for the Black Stars coaching job. When Chris Hilton's contract ends, nobody whether from the quarters of bottom or the GFA, should even think about wanting to renew the contract of the coach, Chris Hilton. Because clearly, the man has been woeful. The man has been terrible with the Black Stars team. For someone who had that CV, getting the Black Stars job, a former EPO coach, and to take over a Black Stars job, a Black Stars team that has these young modern talents in our team and to oversee such a poor run of results for the Black Stars, unconvincing run of results for the Black Stars, from qualifiers for AFCON, qualifiers for the World Cup, friendly games in the USA against Mexico and USA, and then also at the AFCON, overseeing one of our worst AFCON runs. Chris Hilton does not deserve to continue as Ghana's coach into the future. So that's one. Pursuiting, gone. Leave. No room for him to continue in the Ghana situation or Ghana team. That's number one. Number two. It's sad that such a fine, wonderful player who has served this country with so much commitment and dedication will have to bow out this way. But I think it's time for the capsule of the Black Stars team. Andre, the day are you to humbly, humbly retire from the Black Stars? I think it's, it's, it's time, and it's been clear in the last two editions of the Nations Cup. It is time for Andre, are you to humbly retire from the Black Stars? You, are, you have served and have served very, very well this country. Commitment, passion to your game, no one can question that. But sometimes it gets to a point where the soul is willing, but the body is weak and cannot give what is required. It is where we find ourselves now for Andre Ayu. Did I you? As a senior brother, it is my humble appeal to you. Please consider retiring from the Black Stars ASAP. You may have personal ambitions and all of that. For the interest of Ghana football and the Black Stars, it is time for you to honorably bow out. So for me, I am humbly appealing to you on this. If not, I think it's time whoever becomes the new coach of the Black Stars takes a bold decision to build a Black Stars team, a new Black Stars team beyond some old names 
and beyond some of these names, including Andre Ayu, and begin to build a new team with these young boys, youngsters who are burdened, who are playing week in, week out for their clubs, who are upcoming and can play with a lot more passion and energy for the Black Stars. That's what I think I, I, we have to do. We must look beyond Andre Ayu, look beyond Richard Ofori. Thank you, Richard. You must also move. Look beyond Amate. Thank you. You must move. And let's look at these young boys, these new young boys, and let's build a new Black Stars with a new culture. A culture that sees players giving their all in games, giving their all in matches, playing with passion, playing with dedication, and also about team and teamwork, and not selfish, individualistic game or play. It is time. It is time to do these things for our national team. If Andre does not retire, we must force him out. Force him out and build a new team with a new dynamic and a new culture in the Black Stars team with these new boys coming up in the system. We have been given the opportunity time to do this. We cannot, we cannot miss out on this. Three Afghan tournaments have all ended up in total mess, fiasco. 2019, round two, fiasco. 21, in Cameroon, round, round one, fiasco. And this year, in, I mean, Cote d'Ivoire, next to Cote d'Ivoire, round one, another mess, fiasco. We cannot move on with Andre Ayou in our team still. You have served, and we love you for that. But it's time to make a move and allow others to take over the mantle and run on with the national team. So that's my special appeal to you. Are you, Andre, Dede, we love you so much. But move on now. If not, get him out. Because clearly, under your tenure as captain, we have endured three of our worst Afghan tournaments. We have endured three of our worst Afghan tournaments under you as captain. 2019, round two. F first round, last, the last time round, and this year, all under you as captain. The World Cup, you know the story of the World Cup. It is time you move on. You should know this. This is my thoughts. And I hope, I hope, Andre considers this for the good of Ghana football, the Black Stars, and himself after all the wonderful service offered this country just want to hear your thoughts on this on our comment session on bengali cv